Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is gonna be from December 4th, right? Write it down so I didn't forget. December 4th through the 10th. So Taurus, uh, weekly read. Um, trying to get these out a little earlier than usual. Try to, try to pick up the pace here. Um, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus cross watch. If that is you, welcome to the channel as well. Guys, quickly discern the messages as appropriately deemed to do so and do not force something to fit if it does not. Taurus, um, Spirit says, are you sure this is the direction you want to go? So let's see what comes up. Like, I don't even know what else to say to that, but I'm like, all right, I got you guys. Thank you for those, for those messages, Spirit. So Taurus, let's see. I know your last reading was a little, a little much. Um, that was the monthly. This could be part of that. I'm sure it is. But let's see. Spirit, December 4th through the 10th for the sign of Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Heave and ho, they're saying. Heave and ho. Heave and ho. Ah, oh, Taurus. Like, your legs feel like they're on the verge of buckling. Whether that's a good thing or at 11 on the clock. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. I'm going to be straight with you. I don't know what that is yet. <sighs> Balance and the core. <clears throat> I just want to go if you're six foot five spirit's gonna bring you down to half the size you are if you're five foot tall they're gonna bring you down to half the size like there, there's a need to settle the energy that's around you this week Taurus it's it could be a humbling moment um I, I you know here's I, and I fragments god darn it Taurus um you know here's the thing I see this card and I'm looked at this time and every reading I do for you guys this this card is out there you are what's catching my attention is this this oh Jesus I don't want to get uh, persecuted here on YouTube for showing bareness um, <laughs> oops um, there is spirit said that that's an indication of a cover-up here so okay take that and place it where it belongs Doris but this is you Moral of the story, this is you, this is this person. And as you briefly seen, um, she's bare. She, she's bare. She's showing everything that she's got to you. And Spirit is saying, when they're showing you who they are, believe it. Believe what you see. Because it's like, I don't want to see this. I don't want to acknowledge this. I don't want to deal with this. So whatever is coming up in your world, and it does not have to be a person, and I've got the chills, confirmation of the same. If you're seeing a result of something, a person, a situation, a behavior, it's bringing you to your knees in a sense of truth. And it may be a truth that you are trying to deny. Pay attention. That old adage, People will show you who they are, but you best believe them, right? Like you're seeing something for what it is and it either aligns with you or it doesn't. You've got to get out of the gray area, Taurus. I don't even know why I'm pulling a second one of these, but I feel the need to. Absence. This is checking out on yourself. I just said you need to listen. You need to believe, right? There it is. Listen discern having the strength the need to have the strength and the strength and the fortitude to go no but it's like oh well you know i see that little bright shiny star within that person there's a little bit of light there's a little bit of hope there's a little bit of lighter situation or in, in this situation so i'm just it's like a moth to a flame right this heat card it's like a moth to a flame can't help it just can't help it you can keep going I'm going to keep going right back to it every single time. Taurus, I get so tired of beating up on you guys. Like, I don't want to. I want to be like, Taurus, rainbows, butterflies, heaven, and, and, and all things are glorious and old. But there's always that toxic part that pops up. And if it's not within you, it's like the universe throws it at you and is like, here's your test. What are you going to do? And then you're tempted, and then it's like you need to stray, and you're veering 444. Four, four. Like it's always affecting your foundational energy every time, every time, Taurus. Every time, like I get so frustrated on your behalf 
that I just would be like, listen to me. Like, shaking you would be illegal. But still, like, I want to shake you and be like, do you not see how this affects you in the long term? This isn't about the right now. This is about the long term. Um, but there's something here. And I, I want to say that, that that lady's body there is about that temptation. Um, you could be pe peering on, Taurus. You could be looking. You could be online. You could be snooping. You could be doing various things because it's like there's this big interest coming from your energy to this other energy who they may or nay, may or may or nay yeah may or may not be fully engaged with you but you're keeping an eye on the situation for whatever reason um this person may not want to be seen but they are still showing you who they are they may come up short this absence though is also like a spirit is calling it absent-minded like you might be listening you may feel like somebody has checked out on you um Taurus if you're giving your energy to something that's not giving back to you you are checking out on yourself invest your energy where it is being reciprocated um and that's very very important uh -huh, Taurus Taurus, Taurus, if it gives you heartache, grief, loneliness, loss, tears, sadness, hurt, abandonment, it is not for you. Do not repeat this. Um, it's either it feels good or it doesn't. And if it doesn't, bon voyage, motherfucker. We ain't doing this no more. Okay? So, two of swords, nine of pentacles. Um, Taurus, you guys, I'm going to say last three to four weeks have been in a pretty stable place. Lavish, abundant, feeling good, smelling good, you know, doing your thing. But then this happens. Again, it's like, it, it, it's like as a parent, you tell your kid, don't touch the hot stove. You're gonna get burnt. Stay away from that oven door when I open it. You're gonna get burnt. The moth to the flame. You're gonna send your wings. And you can't help it. It's just like, oh, the temptation of what could be. What if? It might be hot. It might be a mold. It might sound good. It might give you a fucking high unlike any other. But guess what? Once that moment's over, you just want to touch that stove once that moment's over, ouch. You want to, I'm going to say run into addiction. You might catch a high for a hot second, but you're going to come crashing down. You want to go spend the night with so-and-so and entangle yourself in that and feel good for that moment? <laughs> Boo. Is it boots in hand or shoes in hand? Was it Miranda Lambert saying vice? Still got to get up and leave the next morning. Walk of shame. Then you're going to go off and you're going to either be suffering from the burn. You're going to be suffering in the sense of by yourself and loss. There, There is nothing in whatever this is this week, Taurus, that's bringing you long-term satisfaction. You ain't getting no satisfaction. From this situation it might be a split second but once that split second is come and gone there ain't a damn thing left to this uh, understand like if you're doing well it's not that somebody wants to see your demise they just want a piece of what you got somebody wants something from you or the devil side of you which we all have in us wants to knock you down those pegs right it wants to bring you back down a few notches if you've worked your way to this nine of pentacles why in the hell would you play with anything less than what what stands on that evil playing field with you mother of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn six of cups something's coming back around nine of cups comes out in reverse again you have worked your way up to 
I'm gonna call it glitz, glamour, the tangible. Maybe you just bought yourself a new car, went and got your nails done. You know, gentlemen, maybe you are out just living your best life, having fun with your with your guys, went out, maybe you bagged yourself a big old buck. Like, who knows? But you've been looking good, feeling good, smelling good, standing on top of the world. You've got your shit in check. Your finances are, are prime. But then, that six of cups comes back around. There is more, and it's like, you're seeing this as, this, there's more, but there's more than what's up here. That there's so much more. I, I see, I see that little hole in the ground that shows that light. For some of you, this is you. And you're like, oh, it's down there. It's, it's within me. Then go after. Go after what is going to bring that color, bring that, that light into your life. Don't go into something that is minuscule. Not a cups. Loss. Not having happiness. Losing everything that is emotionally satisfying. Because this is what happens. Ah, 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 look at this. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Hangman. You knew you should have walked away from this whenever the second it started. You knew the very second it started you should have walked away from this. Taurus, this whole week is going to be about you making the decision to get up and walk away from something. Do you, the Spirit's like, do you really want to go there? Is that really what you want to do? Because maybe this week it'll 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 light your fire and passion will run a blaze and you'll be living a high unlike any other. What happens when it's Friday night? It's got to be long term. That Queen of Pentacles is stable. She's secure. She's abundant. She's strategic in how she manages the world around her. You've got the stability. Go after the emotional happiness. <clears throat> it's a choice. Two of Wands, lovers, it's a choice. Is this in regards to partnerships? If you're playing with somebody who's... I keep seeing that devil card even though I haven't seen it come out here yet. If you're dealing with somebody who has toxic, toxic traits and patterns, maybe you're dealing with somebody who drinks. I'm just going to throw this out there. And... Um, you know, Monday through Friday, man, they're, they're, the, they're the perfect mate. They're making dinner. You guys are getting laundry done. You're going to work. They're going to work. Everything is freaking hunky-dory. Friday comes. Oh, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I'm checking out for the weekend. Peace. And they disappear. Or is that you, Taurus? Somebody's running and evading and hiding. And it's like... And it feels to me like when it should be the time that you would come together with something or somebody, that's when they're checking out. Not just for the sake of stability. Are they hanging on to you? Or are you hanging on to something for the sake of stability and security? But at the end of the day, it's, it's toxic as fuck. They always leave you hanging, ten of swords. You always feel burnt again. There's no, there's no genuine happiness here, Taurus. That's all it is. Two of, look at this. Two of Cups, Ten of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. It's, it's, it's become a burden to be somebody else's stable security. It's becoming too much, too fast. And you're not doing it for you. You're doing it for the sake of something or someone else. Are you giving money away? Like, are you exchanging something and then whatever you're getting is not serving you well? And, and part of this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is an addiction. And it stem, I'm, I'm, I'm going whole, whole, whole force at you guys. Addiction that stems from codependency and abandonment. Your addiction doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol. It could be a lack of love. It could be self-sabotage. It could be the desire to need to be seen, heard, and felt to be explored by somebody. This runs deeper than surface level. And what you're seeking, it's not with this. I don't care if it's drugs, alcohol, another person. Like, it, it doesn't matter what it is. It, it's a temporary fix. It's fake, it's phony, it's bullshit. The Six of Cups, what is this about? 
the sun coming out sideways. Again, it's kind of like the what ifs. It's got a bright side, it's got a downside. You know, I, I would say you're, you're holding on to control here, Taurus. You could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aries as well. Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Four, uh, uh, four, of, four of Emperors here. Yeah, Four Emperors. Um, Spirit just said you could be dealing with two. Two people trying to control a situation. And it's causing conflict and fighting. It's causing competition. It's causing someone to get up in their head and doors. Like, oh, the person up in their head is you. Whether this is you dealing with your inner childhood wounds or this is you dealing with another person and or a situation and other people outside of you, it's bringing you to your knees right now. And it's going to continue to bring you back around. Like the abundance that you have or have had, it is going to turn into rags. Forget what sign it was. I said, I remember saying something, I think it was in the Friday weekend read. Rags to riches, riches to rags. Like you get to decide. What part of that energy are you going to play with? Nine of Cups in the reverse for Taurus, please. The lovers comes out sideways. You can't make it up. <clears throat> For some of you, you could have a Pisces coming in. This could be um, that Queen of Swords there, Ari or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, who is trying to. It's almost like talk some sense into you make you make you understand the feeling that's behind this because it's like they they may be coming in with advice for you going i've been there done that don't do it like understand how i got to my six of wands and it's like you may try to be like oh yeah charisma oh yeah no i get it i got it it's good no it's not if it was good and you knew everything was fine and you had no doubt about a situation, you wouldn't be hanging on to control and doubt or the fighting. You, you wouldn't be in that space, Taurus. There's just absolutely no way. This week, it's like, listen to the advice you're being given. Listen to somebody who's going... Hey, I've been there. I've done this. Because it's, it's almost like in some ways you guys are kind of laughing it off. Uh, hey, it'll be all right. I'm good. Mm -mm. You, you want to feel good for us. I, I don't blame you. Who doesn't want to feel good? But do you want to feel good for a long time? You know, what is it? Uh, here for a good time, not a long time. That's what it is. Here for a good time, not a long time. You want the long time or just the good time? And that's a very serious question. I don't care if it's a person, an addiction, a family member, a work situation. It's like going off and taking a job that you know is only going to last six months. Yeah, it might bring you in a shit ton of money in six months. But you need to stop and think, like, if I budget this... Am I going to be able to live off of this, though, if I can't find a job for the next five years? It might be a good time. But how's it sustaining you in the long run? Tough message, Taurus. Tough, tough message. Advice for Taurus, please. December 4th through the 10th. Focus. You need to refocus, reevaluate your energy. What is not working in your world, you need to change it up paying extra attention to where you are and where you need to go. It's time to let this go and surrender. If it's not working, what part of your life do you need to let go of control of? That emperor energy you need to control, let it go. Be present and aware in your own life. Advice for Taurus this week, please spirit, what try to come out. See, you gotta believe that you're worth receiving the positive abundance in your life. Presence, I seen it on the bottom, it just shuffled itself out. Pause. It's time to really stop and reflect on this situation and ask yourself, how is it serving your highest good? Taurus, this is going to be a week of challenges for you. And it's going to start to really come to fruition where you see the lack of balance in this. 
a lot of loneliness could be a play where you start to see your money, excuse me, the hiccups, um, could starting, your foundations are starting to be affected. Maybe you don't want to get up and go to work. Maybe you're feeling lethargic. You know, maybe you, over the weekend you spent a couple hundred bucks on this person. Now it's affecting your bank account. Maybe you've spent money on addictions that you shouldn't have. You know, you went to the gambling spot and spent a thousand dollars you didn't have. That was your rent money. Like, these things are going to start to play out. Spirit's going, hello. Here it is. And it's tied to this person and or situation. You got to let him go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep putting your life on hold if you don't get out of this. Okay? So Taurus, December 4th through the 10th. There you go, my friends. Um, if you're interested in personal reading, those are available for two weeks. That information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. Visit me at holisticallyzenwv.com for a full list of products and services. <sighs> work through it, Taurus, please. For your higher good, work through it. And I will see you guys soon. Take care.